Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU, 6GB VRAM, in Naraka Blade Point, which went free to play very recently. As usual, we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of the specs right here of the GPU. Uh, Intec PowerUp's GPU Z resizable bar is also enabled and we got those 6 gigs of GDDR6 memory right there. And also, this is a 120 watt version. Over on the left we're pairing it with the i5 11400H and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 MHz in dual channel. The laptop version is down below in the description. It's actually a mini PC but these are laptop specs of course and let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, so I just played through the tutorial and this is the first time that I am experiencing the game, alright? And I have seen already a few stuttering issues here which is terrible. Anyways, we're playing in DirectX 11 DX12 will soon be supported apparently, but if it stutters in DX11, I can't imagine what DX12 will do to this game. <laughs> We're playing at 1080p resolution at the moment and using the highest settings preset which doesn't set everything to the maximum. The light is still on medium and it says that if you use it on high or highest it will turn on global illumination, actually lighting, <laughs> maybe ray tracing, I don't know. Okay, we, we just started, uh, is this a, a player here? with me, I, I don't know. Okay, let's start counting our FPS. We're seeing a lot of vegetation and those horrible stutters that I was telling you about. The game seems to be really easy on the CPU to run. As you can see, it's only utilizing around 20 to 30% of our six core 12 threaded i5. And in terms of RAM, it doesn't use a lot of it either, as well as VRAM. I guess it's not really too resource intensive, this one. GPU usage is at 100% with 120 watts of power. As I told you, this is a 120 watt uh, GPU. The 3060 mobile can go up to like 150 watts or something like that, maybe even higher than that. So if you have one of those better variants of this GPU or unlocked variants, I guess, it will perform a bit better, but it can also go down to like 60 or 75 watts or stuff like that. So it can also perform way worse than this. So keep that in mind. Before you buy a laptop, just check the TDP of the GPU that's very important. They they don't perform all the same, all right? Anyway, uh, what am I even doing here? Oh, I still need to collect recovery items. Okay, that's a little bit boring, actually. I just wanted to kill some people here. Uh, I guess this is still good for us to see the FPS and stuff, uh, because we're seeing a lot of vegetation, which is probably intensive, although it's performing around the What's same that? as the tutorial part of the game, which had no vegetation almost. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. This guy doesn't even have a a uh, yeah, 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 armor, you know. So we should be fine. We should be fine. Where'd he go? I I killed him. I didn't even see him at the end there, but I killed him. I like that we can just roam around. It's sort of like uh, open world, maybe battle royale or whatever. This is nice, guys. I just wish the HUD with our objectives wasn't this obnoxious, really, because it's almost in the middle of the screen. I don't know who designed that, but not great. A little bit of a village, getting 70s, 80s. Yeah, if you're playing at 1080p, which you probably are if you have uh, one of these GPUs uh, and laptops, well, it's going to run pretty well. The Gosh. shadow, okay, yeah, it's kind of like Battle Royale. I went into this without knowing anything about the game, okay? <laughs> and I actually bought it a while ago for like 10 bucks or whatever. Uh, and now it's free to play, so I'm a bit butthurt because of it. Um, and I bought it just to test it in the Steam Top 10 games or whatever. But it was with like a GeForce G100 or something like that. And it didn't even work, so I... Yeah, I just wasted Better 10 move. bucks. Can I go over here? Oh, thank you very much. Okay, I'm probably gonna die to the circle. Yep, I am gonna die to the circle unless I eat some things. Come on, escape from the shadow. Oh no, I am not gonna escape. Uh, come on, get, let's go, let's go. Why? Why is it so fast, dude? Oh no, wait, I am not losing any more HP because the game likes me. Of course, it's still a tutorial, so... Yeah, I'm not supposed to die. They're on us. They're on us? Who's on us? Hello? Oh, hello there. No, 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 no. 
God. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we got this. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. There it is. This is just a bot, so yeah. Easy peasy. I think it's a bot. Like, it should be, right? Like, wait a second. I'm just looting things. Thank you. Hello. She didn't even attack us, so yeah. It must be a bot. No. Stuttering. Stuttering. Oh, this is like a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> Crossbow machine gun. Where is she? Where did she go? Oh, that! Oh, oh my gosh! She disappears and everything. Jesus! All right, there we go. We got Hilda this time around. I think it's time for us now to change the resolution to 1440p because there are a few laptops that actually run 1440p with the RTX 3060. All right, here we go. 2560 by 1440. All right, everything is still the same. And, uh, well, I can't really change the on-screen display size because this is not working because I just changed the resolution in the desktop because you need to do that to change the actual resolution in the game, if you're wondering. Honestly, when I first started the game, the stutters were a lot worse. So I guess this is one of those games like Fortnite, for example, which will smooth out as you keep playing. I'm able to do this and it's not stuttering whatsoever. I guess it will only stutter from now on if you need to load in uh, new things. Oh boy. What the hell is this? I'm gonna check it out actually. Well, this does nothing. I, I don't know what this is. Maybe like a healing beacon or something? Maybe I shouldn't really skip all of the cutscenes and maybe I should actually hear what the guy is telling me. Ooh, big chest right there with the hand again. Oh, this is nice. I want that. What, what? Weapon bag? Wait, can I switch it? Oh, yes! Nice, okay. Flame bringer. Is this like a frame flamethrower thingy? Oh, yes, Bounty this is quite nice. Where is the last one, dude? It's really tiny right now. That's why she said... No, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the circle is really small and I don't see anybody around here. Where the hell is he? He's so scared of El Crispo that he just ran away now. <laughs> Oh, there he is! <laughs> he was stuck, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Burn in hell, buddy! It's a barbecue of Tianhai. Nice! Tianhai barb! Oh, my God! What the hell is that? Low durability. We need to repair this thing. Wait a second. R. R. Repairing. Please get stuck somewhere. Thank you so much. <laughs> no! No! Struggle! Struggle! No, I don't want to struggle here, actually. Anyway, uh, come on, come on. Maybe I should go with the, the sword. I'm gonna try this out. All right, let's go, let's go. Struggle again, struggle again. His HP is insane. Oh, there he is again, smaller boy. Come on, what happened there? I think I defeated him. A little bit of a cutscene, which is not intensive. I guess you're gonna see like very similar FPS no matter where you are in the map. It always gets around like 50 to 70 frames most of the time with 63 on average. And at 1080p you'd get like 70 to 90 frames most of the time. That's nice, it's consistent, you know, I like it. Unfortunately there are still those little stutters but it's not too distracting either. Alright guys, I just restarted the game, now we're still at 1440p in a free roam map right here. We're getting around the same FPS as we saw previously at this resolution. And uh, I just found out that this game supports some DLSS. And at 1440p DLSS will probably make a huge difference because it will mean we, we now are below 60 FPS most of the time instead of getting like 60 on average. And this is a much better experience. Hi? There, um, can I have something here? Yes, thank you. There's the hand again. Ooh, I can choose whatever I want here. What is this? Blood Rippers Cannon. Yes, please give me the cannon. Dude, this it looks so funny actually that she's carrying such a big weapon around. Yeah, you can see that at 1440p with the LSS set to quality, it's now well above 60 FPS pretty much at all times. It will probably drop if you are seeing a ton of big explosions and stuff um, with like a boss fight, for example. But uh, overall, it's pretty damn decent, right? And this is definitely how I'd play this game with a 3066 gigabyte laptop GPU um, at 1440p if you have that 1440p monitor. Dude, 
Oh my god, wait, wait, this is even bigger than the freaking cannon thingy. I'm so confused, how do I use this thing? Oh my! Okay. Uh, do I shoot it or... No? Oh, I just do this. Alright, it's a bit of a waste of a, a weapon, actually. I thought we'd shoot this thing like a minigun or whatever. Yeah, that would be interesting, minigun shooting blades. But alright, no need to play with DLSS at 1080p, you already saw it's very very smooth without it. At 1440p, it's, you can notice that it's using DLSS actually, um, but it also applies like anti-aliasing, which wasn't too noticeable at native res at 1440p, there were some jaggies here and there. Also, that's heating up quite a bit. <laughs> uh, it's all... It's 29 degrees in my room, by the way, that's why. Now let's go up to 4K with SMAA, no uh, DLSS yet. And there are still a few laptops that come with 4K displays and the RTX 3060. So, well, for those of you who have that, I guess you can play with like 30 FPS. It will drop probably, because it's already really close to the lower 30s at times, or mid 30s at least. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not what you want in a fast-paced game like this one that requires fast reactions and, uh, well, some skill as well. So at 2160p, you definitely need some DLSS. I'm going to set that to quality here. And now it is getting us like 10 more frames per second than what we saw at native, which makes things a lot smoother. 40 FPS is much better than 30 FPS. Um, in, in terms of smoothness and responsiveness and stuff. Uh, in terms of input lag, it's also a little bit better here with 40 frames per second and 30. Although this game doesn't really have a lot of input lag, especially because it has NVIDIA Reflex. I mean, it's still not 60 FPS, so what about uh, balanced DLSS? Let's see. Okay. Not terrible, but... We only gained about, like, what, 5 FPS compared to previously? Maybe, yeah, I, I would say 5 FPS. Let's see performance, though. I think a lot of people would still be happy with performance, especially on a smaller laptop monitor, like 14 inches, 15.6 inches. It would work quite well with performance DLSS. Although now, on my 42-inch monitor, I can see a lot of shimmering in front of us on the ground. Yeah, it doesn't look great anymore. I would say it looks very similar to 1440p with quality DLSS, honestly. Maybe slightly more shimmery in some areas at the distance, but uh, not terrible. And now it's getting around 60 frames per second. So you'd still need to drop the settings, I guess. Performance DLSS the way to go, probably. Uh, and maybe high settings. Let's try that out. Okay, a little bit better once again. Now it's mostly above 60 FPS, but it will still drop into the 50s at times. Again, with a lot of uh, effects and stuff like that. What is this, by the way? Oh, nice. What the hell? I, I have no idea what I'm doing, but okay. 60. Didn't drop from 60 yet, did it? Even with all of these effects, explosions and stuff. That's nice, guys. Obviously, you still have like medium settings, which will probably deliver uh, 60 plus all of the time. Yeah, now that we are in the higher 70s, lower 80s, I think it won't really drop even with super intense effects here and there with boss fights and stuff like that. Um, so this is this is quite nice this time around. Performance DLSS with medium settings is what I'd use probably at the 4K resolution. Now, since I didn't test 1080p with DLSS, we're gonna go back to 1080p, quality DLSS this time around, highest settings preset, and let's see how it does. 100 FPS plus, but it's quite a lot softer than it was at native resolution, so I think I would probably stick to native anyways, guys. The smoothness difference is noticeable, though, but... I mean, it's, it was still above 60 FPS the entire time. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.